there's so many moments where I was just like so awkward and in, in what I would say and just the dialogue I would have, it was, it was bizarre. So I don't know that I'll be tuning in. Uh, I'll probably kind of keep that in the, in the back. I mean, if you were in Lauren's position, would you have chosen you or Paris? <laughs> Uh, now looking at it, I mean, back then I would have definitely said me. Uh, today, I mean, get Paris for sure. I mean, looking back at the state of mind and mentally and emotionally where I was at, I, I mean, you know, bless her heart for picking me. I appreciate that. Um, and she'll never live that one down. But yeah, as an adult today, Paris for sure. Yeah, and isn't it nuts that like people still are like obsessed with like looking up clips of you and Lauren's breakup or Lauren choosing you over Paris? Like, is it still yeah. so crazy that like that still comes up? <laughs> it, it really is. Um, it is uh, it definitely in the moment back then. Did not think it would still be uh, resurfacing. It's <laughs> it's it's crazy. Crazy all years later, how it still still comes to light. Mm -hmm. What does your wife think about it? <laughs> Uh, we don't really talk about those. Right. The, uh, she, it's not. She's she is very uh, she's very secure and content in her own skin and stuff. But it's just when it comes to those shows, we don't really. It's we really don't talk about those shows. Like I mean, just back in that time frame. I mean, she 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 actually used to watch it. So I mean, there's when people will ask her friends, um, you know, she'll she'll bring up and 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 have conversation. But when it for her and I, we don't have much dialogue around it. No, definitely. I, I, I don't sit there and talk to my husband about my high school boyfriends either. I <laughs> totally understand. Yeah. I mean, what, now that you're older, would you, looking back, is there a regret or something that you would do differently um, if you could do it over again? Um, <clears throat> the one thing I wish that I'd pursued in my, like in my life was I wish I always stuck with baseball. It was something that I loved and I just, I cared about and, and, you know, whether I went anywhere with it or not, it was just something I really enjoyed. Um, so that is is one regret. Obviously, there's a lot of things that happened in my life that I'm not proud of, um, but I firmly believe it shaped me into the person that I am today. And you know, I think we're all great change proceeds through chaos. And you know, where there's um, the greatest defi deficits or the greatest opportunity for growth. Um, and I've I've utilized that and 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 had that for what I do today. I mean, a lot of those scenarios situations and things that i went through in my life have been they've been a you know a stepping stone to to what i do and helping others today is there like a moment that you're like oh my god i, I cannot watch that that just makes me cringe every time i see it i mean i'm sure half the show is like that for me uh that's probably why i will not be taking a taking a look at it even when i did steven and kristen's podcast i had to go back and watch the episode that we were that we were that we were filming and i was just like oh my god like you know because like it, i have i have no reason to pick it back up but when i went back after all these years i was just like wow even just from the outfits the hair to i mean just our mannerisms our demeanor i mean a lot of the show too it's like it, i was like a mute which was which was hilarious there's so many moments where i was just like so awkward and in, in what i would say and just the dialogue i would have it was it was bizarre so i don't know that i'll be tuning in uh i'll probably kind of keep that in the in the back <laughs> definitely what's one thing that wouldn't have happened in your life hadn't you done the show that's a great question um God, what wouldn't have happened if i didn't do this i mean i think it just there i think it's is a like compiling it is, is making some pretty amazing relationships and, and connections um, and just certain opportunities. Uh, I know that's that's vague, but I think it's just kind of a general scope. I think a lot of my, uh, even, even just when I communicate and talk to people today, um, when it comes to recovery or, or substance abuse, like it's it was as shameful and, and as much as it was hard to see how my life was uh, displayed back then, also given me a, a really great opportunity to connect with people and to help with people because like, oh God, like, especially when I started working in the, in the recovery industry, when people would see me, they're like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, this is like what I do now, you know? And, and so I think that's like, without that, like people could not connect or relate. Um, and so I, I'd say that's probably like the coolest facet is, 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 is that. And so many people come up to me now, it's not even like, hey, can I get a picture? It's more of like, hey, really appreciate what you're doing for the mental health and substance abuse community. Like, you know, it's we, we need more people like that. So I think that's like the, the coolest fast that comes from all that. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.